What's up everybody, how's it going? Paul here with session 3 of the Modern Warfare 2 quick scoping. And uh, before we get started on the gameplay, you'll probably notice that I'm playing on Xbox. Um, I want to explain this straight away, the reasons why I'm doing this. And that's because we all know the situation of the PS3. If you're a PS3 online user and you play Call of Duty 4 or Modern Warfare 2. And to be honest, I really got frustrated the other day. And um, it's really not worth me spending two hours and like 70% of the games that I play are hacked and I have to back out and that just frustrates me even more so rather than me waste time on videos that I could be getting on Xbox I decided to go out buy Modern Warfare 2 for Xbox and try and get some gameplays now uh, you'll see I'm using the intervention of course I'm doing a free for all on Wasteland I'm using the perks Marathon Stopping Power and Scrambler I'm using Scrambler because I'm only a low level I've already got Commando Pro and I've just got Scrambler Pro so I'm just getting the Pro perks to rank up quicker in order to get my Ninja which I'll have by the end of today but um, I've got to say the best thing about Xbox so far is the fact that I can just chill out and I don't have to worry about running into any kind of hackers or modders I can just play the game and there's nobody there to fuck up the experience unless I get owned which is, you know, it's fair enough if that happens, at least that's legit and not running into people who have aim button gob mode on. But, you know, that's neither here nor there, but I just wanted to explain that, guys, because if I didn't, I know a lot of people would have picked it out and would have been, well, Paul, why, why are you playing on Xbox when you're in the PS3 team? And, you know, I just wanted to get that confusion sorted out before we, uh, before we start on the gameplay. But, um... I've had Xbox for about, no, I mean I've had Modern Warfare 2 for about two days, three days, and I'm just trying to get used to the sniping on there. It's a big adjust adjustment for me personally because anybody who's played PS3 and then got used to it and then played Xbox or the other way around will notice that it's, it, it feels kind of stiff when, when you use the controller. Now, at times in this game, you'll probably see me be really aggressive and then the next minute I'll just be playing really defensive because I'm just feeling a little bit lost. It's, it's a little bit hard to understand and to, to explain but if you've experienced it then you know exactly what I'm talking about. But um, right here I'm, I'm going like I think it's 10 or no or something I don't know and then the game turns right around for me and I think that's the, the, the biggest problem for me at the moment on Xbox because I'm very inconsistent. I can I'll get a nice streak and then it will just go all tits up for me and I won't be able to um, be able that to, to uh, I can't even get my words out. Yeah, I won't be able to carry that streak on and, and play to the best of my abilities. So please understand that um, whatever you see in this video is not what I can usually do in a game. It's just because I'm still getting used to the Xbox controller and you know the connections on Xbox are absolutely fantastic. On PS3 I tend to run into a lot of lag and stuff, but I've got a wired connection on Xbox which makes it even better for me because the connection's better and I can upload videos at the same time and play, which I never thought I could do, but I'm doing that nonetheless and I'll be getting a lot more Modern Warfare 2 sessions out as soon as I start getting used to the controller because this, I'm going to tell you how this game ends, it ends 30 and 12 I believe which for me, or an optic video in general, is pretty bad because, you know, it's it's 13 deaths and that's quite, well, I think it's 12 deaths, 12 or 13 deaths, I'm not really sure, but it's, it's still the same, I suppose, it's, it's quite a lot of deaths and hopefully you don't uh, pick me off for that because, like I said, I'm still getting used to it and it's, it's, quite, it's quite hard to do. So uh, don't be so quick to judge people. I'm um, still bringing videos, and I've got to say, um, definitely enjoy Modern Warfare 2 on Xbox. It's just so amazing, just being able to go into as many games as I want and not being able to run into hackers and people who can just fuck it up for you, which I've already said. But it's it's just awesome. It really is. I'm I'm very happy with the way things are going right now, and you'll be seeing a lot more Modern Warfare 2 videos, and I might bring out some Call of Duty 4 videos depending on how long it takes PS3 to sort out the hackers and modders because if it takes a good while then I'll probably buy Call of Duty 4 on Xbox and uh, get some gameplays on there too but obviously I've got to rank up and stuff first so probably won't won't take me that long on Call of Duty 4 because there's not that much stuff I need I just need my M40 which you get straight away to be honest but 
you know, perks, perks wise and stuff, it's it's pretty complicated. But um, this is where the game takes a, a drastic turn. Well, it start it happened when just when my Harriers got shut down. I uh, I started going on a little death streak, and towards the end, I really do start going uh, not as good as I could have been. To be honest, I'm going 24 and 8 now, so I've got to get six more kills in order to win the game and I end up getting another three or four deaths instead of getting the kill straight away and to be honest if I played this game more defensive I could have just stayed behind the wall played it more defensive as a sniper I probably could have um, not died at all but I decided to I'm, I'm an aggressive player to be honest I am an aggressive player and if I would have took my time with some of the shots I probably wouldn't have died or I would have got a, a, an extra kill but it's neither here nor there, I suppose that's what, the way I play and I can't really change the game but at the same time I will be trying new things and trying to take my time, it's just, I don't, sometimes I can take my time and other times I want to take my time but I end up rushing the shot and it just ends up fucking it up and the more you shoot as a sniper the more you come up on the map and on a big map like Wasteland it's very easy for somebody to pick you off with a sniper rifle just like that somebody else is other side of the map they can easily pick you off if they have a thermal scope or just a normal scope all they need to do is just take their time and you you know you're gone but um i will be bringing out a free for all video on ps3 it's not a gameplay it's a pretty awesome montage i'm not sure how long it is but uh my good friend bd from the ps3 team is editing it and it's coming out really nice guys so that'll be out soon um, the other things I've got planned, I'm doing Underrated and Unknown on the Optic Zone, which is a show where I basically promote unknown people on YouTube with with great content. Uh, if you want to check that out, I'll put the link in the description. Otherwise, just stay tuned for more, um, more Modern Warfare 2 sessions. And if you have any tips for me while playing Xbox, just uh, drop them in the comments section. I'll be checking the comments out as soon as the video goes up, and I'll be seeing what you guys think. But um, I just want to say thanks for all the support that the uh, the sessions have been getting so far. It's pretty great because I'm having fun sniping some I love doing on Modern Warfare 2. And although it's quite frustrating for me to snipe on Xbox at the moment because I'm not used to missing so much, but I suppose I'll just deal with it. It's, it's not a huge deal, but uh, thank you for watching the video. This is the game wrapping up. Stay tuned for session number four. That'll be up in a few days, and I'll speak to you all soon. Take care. Be sure to head over to our Twitter, there you can see all of our inner workings and updates from the PS3 team.